All right, let's talk about text. I'm creating a new image, file new, seven inches wide, five inches tall, resolution is 150, color modes RGB, content white. We'll go ahead, go ahead and use the text tool over here, and I'll click once right in the middle there, and uh, you'll notice my font size is 36. I'll go ahead and change that to 72, and the reason I'm changing it to 72 is because 72 is one printed inch. And I'll go ahead and uh, type in my name. Now, in Photoshop, there are two types of text. There's word processing text, which is what we're dealing with now. Okay, We can highlight it with the text tool, and we can change this word processing text, and we can edit it just as we would in Microsoft Word or Corel Word Perfect. Now, you want to get into the habit of whenever you're done creating your text, clicking on the Move tool. Right? You can move it all around, you can do an edit free transform, and you can resize it. Now take a look at your layers palette. Your layers palette uh, doesn't have a thumbnail, it just has a letter T. Well that indicates that this layer is still a text layer. So it's still word processing text. Now what that means is I can use the text tool, go back in there and click and drag to select and change it as I would change word processing text. However, some of the cooler things in Photoshop will not be available to you with word processing text. Edit, transform, distort, and perspective, not available to you. Okay, Filter, artistic, any one of these, it's going to bring up a message that says, hey, you got to rasterize this first. Well, that introduces rasterize text. Layer, rasterize type. Now, notice what happens to your layers palette. Instead of there being a little letter T there, a T icon, well, the T icon is replaced by an actual thumbnail of that layer. Now, if I were to use the text tool, I cannot click and you know change this in any way so if I spelled something incorrectly that's it I can't go back and change of course we can go back through our history palette um, but this is no longer word processing text it is rasterized text meaning it's a graphic now the fact that it's a graphic is good I mean we can go in there and we can say edit transform perspective and we can make it look as though it's going off into the distance so, you know, we can do some pretty neat things with rasterized text that we wouldn't be able to do with word processing text. We can even apply filters, filter artistic neon glow here. And let me see if I can get the right neon glow value. All right, so you can do a number of different things, but understand the difference between rasterized type and type.